Welcome back guys and I want to introduce you to this little area down here which is called Solville. And you can see that it should be growing pretty rapidly because I've just built this and zoned it in and I wanted to show you the whole thing kind of come into life. And I'll, I'll take you around and I'll show you what I've put in and stuff but I wanted to show you this first because I know a lot of you really like to see the city grow and now why is this called Solville well some people think that the aliens because the aliens named this and some people think that um, it's named after our son Sol so they called it Solville uh, but the people who actually live here now this has the uh, the school's out policy in it which I'll show you in a sec um, so the people here are fairly uneducated and they work in the industry in this area and uh, They think it's because they're shit out of luck. So you take your pick you decide So let's have a little look at this area now. It's kind of growing up and it's growing up kind of nice and fast loving it Oh, and the Sun's coming up now so you can really see what's going on you know, I think we're going to have to put another docks in because the, the, it's so busy down here. Right, this is going to be the workforce uh, primarily for this area over here. And what we've got is, I've, I've put in the roads. Oh, by the way, like first thing, um, I've changed the road color. Okay, I've gone for a, for a darker tarmac because I think it, I think it looks better. Uh, lots of you have been asking me to do this and saying, yeah, I changed the tarmac colour. Well, I've done it. So, And it'll be the same in London as well. I may refine it. I may lighten it slightly, but I kind of like it the way it is at the moment. So, uh, like, Drop me your comments and tell me what you think of that. Right, um, Solville. First of all, uh, policies. What have we got in here? The only thing we've got in here is schools out. Other than that, bog standard. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, what have I put in in terms of uh, services and stuff? Well, obviously it's got water and it's got power everywhere. Because I put in a few of these uh, little things to kind of spread the power around, which is no bad thing. And although, you know what, I'm going to move that one. I'm going to move that one a little bit this way. Just to kind of spread the power around here. How have I zoned it? <clears throat> well, I've zoned it. As low density all around the outside and then high density all in the inside and then I've just filled it in with a few streets because I want this to be a nice dense area cool right what else what else what else what else there's um, there's a few other things I need to tell you about right so this area over here this is the forestry area this is happy little trees this is still happy little trees but this area over here is now generic industry okay so on the basis that this is going to be polluted and nasty i've called this happy little tree killers <laughs> so we've got happy little trees and happy little tree killers over here and let's, have, let's just have a quick look at those right so we've got that district in there now we've also got a district down here oh yeah so we've got a district in here which covers this whole area here and this area, this is um, Crab Claw Bay. So I've got that name in there. And what have I done to this area? The only thing I've done is improved the services a little bit. So um, I've put in, I think, uh, a couple of big fire stations down here to really boost this up. And you can see it's like, it's completely bright blue, this area now. Because I want this all leveled up to max. It's, um, it's kind of important for what I want and the, the, the way I want it to look. And I want it to look like nice and bright and shiny and generally awesome. So we're starting to get some nice tall buildings. The commercial's up to level three over here. These uh, residential buildings, they're getting there. These are going to get up to level five, I would think, pretty easily now. Yeah, this is almost level five. So all that's going to be happening. I've spent quite a lot. Uh, we're only making about 6,003, yeah, 66. It's coming up again as stuff is leveling up and they're paying more taxes. And obviously we've got this area down here, 
which is uh, providing more workforce. So we're actually getting demand, would you believe, for industry. Awesome. So that's going to be filling out more. That's sweet. But, uh, let's see. What's up? Uh, population's up to 38,000, and it's growing quite quickly. That's quite good. Uh, what have I done policies-wise over here? Well, uh, let's have a look, shall we, at the policies. I have put in, um, we've still got schools out over here, but I've put a university in. And I've put the university in uh, just down here. I'll show you that in a sec. Let's just finish with this. But I've put in high-tech housing. So I want this to be as bright and shiny as it can possibly be. Right, so that's that. Um, right, I put in this university. Now this is one of Quad's buildings. This is Quad Science Facility. And uh, I think that looks pretty nice. And we've got the, the hospital opposite. This is the generosity over here. Uh, I did add a police, um, a police headquarters in here. The police headquarters is there. And I put in uh, a couple more small police stations over there. Just I wanted to get rid of the crime, like completely. And it's all pretty damn blue. So that, that health, health could be a little bit better. I probably need to add in a couple of clinics, especially over here. It's, uh, it's a bit down here. The, I mean, the alternative would be that I could replace these clinics with generosities. And on the basis that I'm going to upgrade this to, um, to high density as we go forward, this, this part in the center. De round, round the coast it'll still stay uh, low density but in here it's going to be high density okay that's probably enough of that for now because i want to get on and do some uh, do some actual building and it's going to be like a lot of this now first of all let's do a bit of detail work i think where now where am i going to do it uh let's do it let, let's do this one because this one's like particularly scruffy i think so what we're going to do is we're going to make this look really, really pretty. That's the plan. So let's pause the game. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, now, uh, I'm, I'm also going to make a change up here. Now, I've zoned this as offices all around the outside. We are going to change that. And what, what the hell? I'm going to do it now. So all around the outside is not going to be offices. All around the outside is going to be commercial. Now, inside that, I'm going to put a road inside here, and that is going to be, oh, just a bit, and that is going to be offices. But on the outside, I want this to be all commercial. And hopefully, you'll see why when I actually like get this all growing and stuff. Because obviously, like normal, normal high density commercial, you know, doesn't look that fabulous. But I think I've got a trick up my sleeve. I think you're gonna like it. So, so all that in around there. A bit more. All along there, and man, there's a lot of it, isn't there? Jeez, it's a big ass place. People would say, like when I was building the map, people were saying, yeah, like there's not much buildable area, Sky. <laughs> you think? Uh, so, all around there as well. And that bit. That's going to be a hell of a lot. This, if this is all going to be like commercial and offices. and I, I, like, I don't even know if there's going to be any residential up here. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Right. Cool. I've got. I'm going. I'll do that later. Uh, let's get. The, well, which one was I going to do? I was going to. Yeah, I was going to do one of these scruffy ones. This one's. This one's relatively scruffy. We'll do this one. Okay. So how do we take this, which looks like me, kind of me, and turn it into something that looks kind of nice?
So, what do you think? Is that that kind of a little bit prettier? A little bit nicer? I'll do that with um, with all of these, but obviously I'm going to do that offline. I'm not going to make you watch me do that seven times. <laughs> that would be pretty dull. Right. <clears throat> now, we've got this train track coming in here, and I'm, I'm probably going to play around with the train track a little bit. But I want tourists coming up here because this is going to be designated as a tourist area. So we're going to have... Um, Right, this outside area, let's just do it. Let's just do it, shall we? Right. Why talk about it? Do it. So, this outside area. And I'm just going to, like, follow the road round to get, hopefully, a fairly well-defined. Now, why am I going to have hotels all the way around the outside? Well, I, it's primarily for the look at night. And this, uh, this came to me when I was doing the building London. Because I want this to be like really bright and shiny at night. And the, the, the tourist hotels are, uh, most of them are pretty tall and they're very, very shiny. What have I done wrong? Oh, that's what I've done wrong. Let's try that again. So, round like that. Now, I may end up filling the whole area in, I'm not sure. But for right now, that'll do. So, uh, we, now we need like a name for up here. I've no idea what we're going to call it. No idea what we're going to call it. But we want a policy. We want a policy. And it's going to be... Uh, where's the policies? Policies. It's going to be... This is going to be tourism. So, boom. Tourism. Right, now I'm going to turn this thing on. Because I would like these things to actually start growing. It'll be interesting to see if they do. Right. If we're going to do tourism up here, then we're going to need uh, to get to get tourists up here. Now, we've got the train going down here. Okay. But I want to bring the train in from the outside. Now, we've got one connection here. We've got one connection over here. Right. The question is, how do we hook those up to this train network? Now, I've had a few ideas. One of the things that I really wanted to do was have um, a train track kind of going, like, tunnelling through these, these cliffs and things. So, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we do something like this. <laughs> this could be fun. Now, I, I did talk about maybe tunnelling through these, but I don't know. 
I don't know. I might have a play around. I like. I might raise the terrain on one of these and uh, and try actually tunneling through one of these. But I do kind of like that. I do kind of like that. So the question is, are we actually going to get trains act like using this? Are we going to get trains coming in? Well, only time will tell. Can't see any. Can't see any coming in yet. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Right. But, I mean, there are other ways for tourists to uh, to get around. There's no reason why tourists can't come in and then um, catch a train. So, we could, for example, um, have, like, docks over here. Right? So, we could do something like... There's ships. Here's a harbour. There is no reason why we couldn't put like even a couple of harbours here so we've got some um, potentially those coming in now we could put a couple of futuristic train stations down here but that can just get hooked straight onto this like that cool this one can loop around so this one can just loop round. Now we could connect this up to other stations and stuff, but like for now, uh, this one can just hook up to this tunnel and stay buried. Boom! Alrighty. So now we've got passengers coming in or tourists coming in that can get shipped up to here. Now I think until we kind of get stuff built. I'm going to turn this one off and this one off. Right, and we'll just run on this one for now. Let's throw one of those in to power this. Okay, let's turn it on. Will that power those? Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Cool. So, if that can bring tourists in, the tourist thing then can then catch the train up to the top. What we need to do is put a route in, don't we? Yes, we do. So... Go up here, and then one, two, three, and this one, this one, this one, and then we want to go back down all the way to our stop point. Boom! All right, let's change the line color. Let's make it kind of a, a blue so we can see it. There we go. So we're down to 10 vehicles. All right, cool. So it's just going to go up there, do the circuit, and then come back down. Now, I could get it going the other way as well, but I think it's probably okay as it is. So. Now, I don't know where the trains are going to spawn. I'm guessing they're going to spawn here, but I don't know. i got to say, those red trains, not a big fan of. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to get rid of them. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have the, um, the nice, sexy... Japanese bullet train style ones don't you think so we're just gonna have the um, the JRs because they look freaking awesome okay cool oh we, oh we got a ship just came in with with a whole two passengers so not telling us anything now um somebody somebody left me a comment and pointed out uh, quite rightly that if you click on this eye down here you can actually see the number of um tourists so right 21 we'll keep an eye on that and see if our tourist is going up now ha ah, yeah we're starting to get these buildings and i'm hoping that from down here if we come down here that right, let's let's go to the camera so there's no icons around. What I'm hoping is that from down here, it's going to create a really kind of bright, shiny ring around here with lots of uh, lots of bright light. That is my hope. 
because they're they're pretty bright a lot of these buildings and then behind that we're going to have um, a ring of offices so yeah we, what we'll do is yeah, if I get get out of camera mode uh, uh, this is something again that I'm probably going to do offline but I'll show you so I'm guessing we'll have a row yeah and I want it tighter than that You get the idea. And into there. So. Uh, we're going to have the um, the commercial on the outside. And then on this inner ring. This will be offices. So let's. You know what. Let's zone this lot in. As offices. And we're going to need some features up here. Like fire. Let's have one there. I, I think we're going to end up putting them like behind each one of these railway stations and there cool excellent alrighty let's turn it back on and cha-ching and everybody's happy loving it so now these, uh, th these only have one level, so they're not going to benefit from it. But the offices, obviously, are going to benefit from having the, uh, the fire services. It will help them to level them up. Oh, the top island is starting to come to life. And I am loving it. I've, um, I've have been having a play around with some of these tall buildings. And I've got some ideas, guys. That I think you might like. You know, it's a shame that the train lines don't light up. Oh, but that is... Hang on a sec. That is a tourist train. It's only bringing one tourist. But it is bringing tourists in. And you know what? Let's... Uh, just, to, just to round off the episode. Don't you think? Yeah, this one's going down. Here we go. Whoa! Real roller coaster. Loving it. Oh, all across the water, through the bridges and everything. And then it's going to go out on the uh, on the big one. Out here. Well, it's loads of trains coming in. And this goes like right out to the edge of the map. How far will it let us go? Will it go like right out to the edge? Oh, right out to the edge. Cool. All right. And then it throws us back onto the map. Alrighty. So there you go. Well, we, you know, we're starting to make progress. We're starting to get tall buildings. We're starting to get tourists and stuff. Ah, what are we up to? I mean, it's still, tourist visits are still at 24. Uh, but we need to get, like, some tourist attractions and stuff up here. Which we can use these buildings for. Because these buildings are, um, are tourist attractions. So, and they're all turned off at the moment. So, yeah, we need to get all of that stuff going. Whew, man. Long episode. Um, I'll catch you for the next one, I guess. <laughs> Peace out.